Hey folks, today I'm gonna to give you an MPG update. That is, by the way, probably one of the most common questions that I've gotten concerning the different videos I published on my, my truck here. This, of course, is my 2024 GMC Sierra 2500 HD, and it does have the 6.6 .6 liter gas engine with the 10 speed Allison transmission. Now, previously I did three separate dedicated MPG videos. First, I did one when I got the truck initially driving home from the dealership. It was a, a faster, you know, interstate speed, 70, 75 miles per hour, unladen. And then a few months later, I did another video after the engine was broken in, after the first oil change, unladen again, slightly slower, you know, 50, 60 miles per hour. And then a third one, towing with the, the truck there with my travel trailer in the back. And so if you didn't catch those three videos, I'll put links down below. But basically I've gotten a lot of questions from those three videos asking, hey, can you give us an update on the MPGs on your truck? You know, what are you getting now? Especially after the truck has more miles on it. And you know, let's face it, we don't buy these HD trucks because we're concerned about getting the absolute best MPGs possible, right? I mean, we buy these HD trucks for their capabilities especially if you have something to tow, like an RV or a, a boat. And so I know sometimes just being candid, it can feel a little silly comparing different HD trucks and the MPGs that they get. But at the same time, like I said, I probably get more questions about the MPGs on my truck here than perhaps any other topic combined. And I do think it's helpful, you know, if you're in the market shopping for an HD truck, maybe you're a diesel truck owner currently, you're looking to go gas or maybe even a half ton truck owner, and you're just wondering, okay, if I buy this HD truck here, the, the GM version with the 6.6 .6 liter and the 10 speed Allison, what are the MPGs going to look like? What kind of a difference is that going to make you know, over the, the long haul? And so I do think it is interesting to talk about the MPGs. So my goal today is just to share with you what I have gotten over the last, oh, about eight to, to nine months over 6,000 miles and just show you here are the MPGs that I've gotten on my truck. Now in full transparency, I gotta confess, and maybe you can relate to this too, anytime I'm sharing MPG results, it is tempting to share just the best MPG results or an impressive run that I did recently. And so I wanna guard against that temptation today. Really, I'm just gonna show you what the trip computer on the truck is showing. I have not reset this, by the way, since the, the truck was purchased. And so the screen that you're looking at right there is tracking the average MPG over the last X miles. And so right now it's set to 25 miles. So basically the last 25 miles that I've driven in the truck, it has recorded an average of 12 MPG. You can see on the right and then on the left, the best, again, I haven't reset this since I bought the truck. So the best is 19.7, again, over a 25 mile trip. 25 miles is pretty short. And so this doesn't really give, I think the full picture but check this out, if I bump it up here, the distance to 50, this is probably a little more accurate indicator. You can see then the average goes to 12.4. That was over my last 50 miles and I was doing some idling over the last few trips. So it's a little bit lower there, but then you can see the best that I've ever gotten over a 50 mile stretch on the left there is 17.5. MPG. And I would say this is fairly accurate. You know, most of my driving is not on the interstate. It's more, you know, country back roads and the, the 40 to 50, maybe topping out 55 miles per hour. Or so with some stops here and there. And typically what I see is I'm tracking that, you know, last 50 miles or so, it's going to be high 12s, low 13s. I mean, once in a while, I might see something in the low 14s if I'm really being efficient and light on the throttle. But Mostly what I'm seeing with my kind of driving is high 12s, low 13s. Again, I'm idling, so you're gonna see that number drop down. But let me show you the 450 here. This is kind of interesting because it's an even longer stretch. So you can see average is 11 MPG for me over my last 450 miles. I was doing some towing, and so a lot of that dropped because of the towing. But look at the best there, 14. 0.7 MPGs. That's the best MPG that I've gotten over a 450 mile stretch on the truck. And so likely that was more, you know, on the interstate or a highway going in that, you know, golden 50 to 60 mile per hour range. And so this is exactly what the truck is showing. In fact, let me scroll to the trip computers too. I don't use these a whole lot, but let me go to the trip too. You can see I actually haven't reset this 
since I bought the truck. It has a little over 6,800 miles on it currently. And you can see overall, since I bought the truck, 11.6 MPG is what I've gotten. Of course, that's unladen and towing combined, you know, everything. And so that I think is a, a very accurate picture of, of what I'm getting if you were to average everything together. Trip one has a little bit lower on the mileage there. Again, I don't use these a lot, but you can see 11.3. So I wanted to share this because it gives, I think, uh, an idea of really what you should expect if you're gonna buy this truck. I also wanna share the trailering, the towing MPG. It's really neat here with the GM trailering app. You can actually go in here and when you set up a trailer profile, it's gonna track your miles and your MPG on that trailer. So you can see over here that I've gone 1398 is the mileage on my trailer. It's got a gross vehicle weight rating just over 6,000 pounds when it's fully loaded with all my gear and everything. And you can see average fuel economy right there, 8.7 MPG. And I actually think this is very respectable for a, a gas truck. You know, I come from a, a diesel background for about the last decade or so, towing with different diesel trucks. And, you know, usually about 10 miles per gallon was where I would fall. Didn't really seem to matter how much the, the weight was, whether it was 10,000 or 15,000 pounds. So to go from diesel and get about 10 miles per gallon to gas and get 8.7, I mean, I think that is very respectable. The last gas truck I had was a, a 2015 Ram half ton that had a, a 5.7 liter Hemi. And I mean, I was getting maybe six to seven miles per gallon towing. And so I've been very impressed with how this, this truck uh, tows. I think a lot of it has to do with the 10 speed transmission and just how well it's, it's tuned. But uh, yeah, I mean, 8.7 miles per gallon. I think that's very respectable. I'm very pleased with that. But I wanted to share these results for those who are in the market for this truck, who are curious, you know, what are you actually getting? And this is just kind of the unfiltered, the raw MPG. But yeah, in summary, basically doing country back roads, you know, in that 40 to, to 50 mile per hour range, I'm seeing high 12s and low 13s. And I'll just circle back real quickly to some of these higher numbers that you're seeing in that best column there on the left. You can see 19.7 MPG is the best that I've ever gotten over a 25 mile distance. And, and that's a pretty short stretch if you think about it. You know, sometimes I hear guys that talk about this truck, uh, you know, getting 19 to 20 miles per gallon regularly on the interstate unladen. And for me, that has not been the case. This was really just a one-time deal that I was able to get that 19.7. Again, it's just over 25 miles. I mean, I was probably going downhill. It was probably in that 55 to 65 uh, mile per hour range. And, and that was just a one-time deal. Again, just over 25 miles. And notice how if I take this up to 50 miles, then you'll see 17.5, it drops, right? And then if I take it up even higher to 450 miles, which I don't drive on the interstate that long, unladen typically, you can see it drops down to 14.7. And really what I've found for those curious on the interstate, you know, not going too fast, but in that 55 to 60 mile per hour range, if you, if you go too fast and go 70, 75, you're just gonna lose MPG because of the, the wind and the higher speed and everything. But I find if I set everything up for success, you know, go 50 to 60 miles per hour, maybe I'm gonna to be in the the mid 16s unladen on the interstate and again guys i am very pleased with it i think that's a very respectable number especially for an hd truck that weighs so much and you know sits up higher i think that is very respectable but you can see even over 450 miles 14.7 i mean i think that's again very respectable for such a a large heavy truck there 17.5 over a 50 mile range so I just wanted to be transparent and show those are the best that I've ever gotten on the truck, but it's it's not as, as typical. Again, really high 12s, low 13s for everyday driving, maybe mid 16s on the interstate at highway speeds. That's what I've gotten at least. Anyways, guys, like I said, I did this video because I've gotten a lot of requests for MPG updates on the truck. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Definitely make sure you're subscribed because I plan to do some additional videos on the truck in the near future, such as an owner review, where I talk about likes, dislikes, any regrets here with the GM platform. I also wanna do a video comparing diesel versus gas, that whole experience, because over the last decade or so, I've owned just diesel trucks, especially when it comes to towing. So I wanna talk about, do I have any regrets going from diesel 
to gas. So stay tuned for that. And then thirdly, I'm going to do a video talking about oil consumption on the truck. I've had a lot of people advise me, hey, watch out that engine, that 6.6, .6, the LAT, it does consume oil. So make sure you're checking your oil. I've had a lot of people tell me about that. And so I'm going to do an oil change here soon and actually measure the oil that I drain and see how what I've drained compares to what I put in originally over the course of a full oil change. So definitely stay tuned for that one. I think it'll be really interesting to see if it did consume any oil and how much. But guys, if you have any questions or comments, definitely drop them below. And as always, thanks for watching.